Distance. Everyone would love to gain a bit of distance. So this video is focusing on gaining distance with lack of mobility. So if you're struggling in mobility and you're trying to gain a bigger range of motion, this is the video to watch. Right, so you've either got to be very explosive and then you can get away with a smaller range of motion and drive through the shot, but that's extremely difficult. And then if you're looking for a bigger range of motion, that's hard to achieve if you're lacking mobility without then swaying off the ball. So I've been using the Sportsbox 3D app, which is a fantastic bit of kit. So if you haven't seen that before, please check out one of my previous videos. So the, the range of motion in regards to the chest turn, ideally we're looking for a minimum of like 80 degrees in the turn. And then a restriction from down the bottom. So the power of this is, is turned like around 40. So then the X, X factor score would be quite reasonable, quite a good score. And then you've created a reasonable range of motion and then you'll gain some potential, potential some extra speed through the ball. But all of a sudden, if you've got restricted mobility in the hips, then you could be struggling. So you've got external rotation and an internal rotation. So the internal rotation is the harder one of the two and you're trying to internally rotate into that hip so suddenly if you're trying to increase that then it's very easy if you're struggling in in the internal rotation to then sway away from the target also your 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 hip flexors your posture to open up your chest so it's easier to turn the to turn the shoulders can always be worked on so you, you, you if you speak to a, a, your local fitness uh, instructor, then they, they could go through that with you to improve that. So then that's an ongoing thing. So you, as you improve that, then that will make things life a lot easier. You don't have to then adapt to that. But that takes time. So if you're in a position where you're trying to get a bigger range of motion, so you're not necessarily as explosive, so you, you're trying to create some more distance, then the key thing is in the setup. So the setup is key, and I've, I've done this, uh, and I've seen it work, it, it's, it ma makes a huge difference. So the key bit there in the setup is that when you're stood, so you're stood to the ball, so normally we would be parallel, and let's say we've got our feet fairly straight. So if you've got your feet quite straight, that will be difficult to turn into that hip flexor that makes it harder so the key the key foot for this is our trail foot just to help the open up that hip flexor so then that's we don't we're not internally rotating as much so we've turned the foot out so then that's open up that five so then that's easier to get the belt buckle to turn into that pocket the bit that really clinches it is then if our feet, if we can aim our feet slightly to the right to the target. So we've still got the club face at the target. So let's say our club face is at 12 o'clock and then our feet are at one o'clock and then we've opened that foot up. So then it, it frees everything up and it's a much easier to turn. And it increases the range of motion by, by quite a few degrees, which would then make a big difference to the potential, potential distance that you could gain. The downside to that is that you won't be able to turn through the shot as easy because you've just blocked yourself off slightly. But I think the gain that you get on your backswing will, will more than make up for the potential loss of turn on the way through. It will change your swing path, so potentially you're rather than say you're, if you're at the moment you're swinging out to in, that will change your path to in to out. So then you've got potential to hit that right to left shot down there. But if you can just give that a go, so just a tweak of that setup. So you've got your foot angled outward slightly and you're aiming your feet more towards one o'clock, which will give you a bigger channel to swing back, create a bigger turn, and then you've got more potential speed to generate to come through. It won't put so much pressure on this hip, so you then shouldn't be sliding. So that, that will, just that tweak, huge difference and could gain up to about 10 yards, easy. So one drill you can do, just nice and simple, is a lunge, lunge down, knee on the floor, this knee, so you keep an eye on this leg and then just turn over it. So just make, so make sure that the, the club is nicely against the, the, the shoulders, the chest, 
So then you can see how far you're turning and you're trying to keep this leg nice and straight so you're not allowing that to open up. So that's, that's helping that rotation against the bottom half. A good trick you can do, I saw with Dr. Greg Rose, is distract the rib cage. So if you do four, and then turn, you'll see that I've turned further. So that distracts the rib cage and you'll be able to improve that range of motion. So that's a good drill to do. Every, every morning, make sure that you're stretching, so you're opening up the, the back, so you're, you're squeezing those shoulder blades, and then that makes it easier to turn. So every little bit will, will help. But if you try that setup, so feet aim slightly to the right, this is if you're right-handed, trail foot open up slightly, so say the trail foot, you've got the trail foot, two digits to the right of 12 o'clock, and the lead foot one digit to the left of 12 o'clock. So you're stood in, in that position with them aiming slightly to the right. Hope that makes sense. Any questions or comments, please send them through. Give us a good thumbs up and I'll see you soon.